Hey guys, today I wanted to talk to you about a special uh, topic. It's not very common, but I think it will help. It's basically what car to buy if you're moving to Panama. So this is my car, this is a Toyota Hilux 2012, I bought it as a second hand car, but uh, it's been very useful for me, it's super dirty, um, the car wash has been closed since this, since this COVID started, uh, but yeah, this is my car, as architect I use uh, the pickup truck a lot, the, 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 for storage, that's my dad's business. If you see this car, a white Toyota High looks around, and with uh, that sticker in the in the in the trunk door, you know it's me. So, um, what recommendations would I will I give you when buying a car in Panama? First. Uh, the second hand market is pretty big. Um, I bought this car as a second. Sorry, I bought this car as a second hand car, and it worked great for me. The best brands to buy in Panama are three: Toyota, Nissan, and Hyundai. Uh, why? Service is good in all of those three. If you want to go to the to the actual dealership the car dealership service is good on all three and uh, you can get spare, uh, spare parts anywhere so that's a very good good uh, thing to consider because uh, for example you cannot get a Mercedes part Mercedes will be expensive and uh, sometimes uh, service in different agencies are not the best so I'm trying to give you a, an overall picture what car do expats buy in Panama? Well, I don't know why, but uh, I, I'll, I think I'll interview uh, an expat to give me his opinion, but the cars that I've seen the most buy by expats are the Nissan X-Trail, and it, it's like an old edition, like 2005 model. I'll put an image here for you to know. And uh, I sincerely don't know why, uh, I don't know if that, that car is more economic or, or what, but uh, that's the car that I've seen the most. Even people that have a bigger income buy that car. So uh, that's my honest answer. Um, besides that, I've seen most a lot of them buy Toyota, a lot of them buy Hyundai, um, and they go with that. Basically, I'm not saying that you should not buy uh, any of uh, any other brands, but that's the most common car. Now, now, now that I've talked about brands, what type of car should you get? I have a pickup truck because um, I'm an architect. I like to drive long distances to Panama City too. And this is the car that works for me. But I would recommend, in any, in, 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 regardless what you do or what your lifestyle, I would advise you to get a a higher car like a SUV or a pickup truck or anything like that. Uh, in Panama City, floodings can happen when there are heavy rains because the sewer system and the drainage system is not properly properly done and, uh, and it could not absorb that amount of water but in Chiriqui where Boquete is you can easily be driving in a road that's not paved properly or it's a dirt road so a higher car will have a 4x4 system all wheel drive and you can drive around any of those places another recommendation that I would give you how do you buy a car? Basically, you got money, 
go to a dealership or a second uh, or a used car dealership and you buy a car. I mean, it's no issue. That's something that could be done in a day. How license plates works. You need to renew your license plate every year. To renew your license plate, you need to uh, be to a certified uh, car workshop for you to get a uh, kind of an inspection uh, it's called revisado which is a basic uh, checklist that your car is in good conditions and then you need to have like the title the the the, the title uh, that you own the car and with that the revisado and I don't remember what else with that and the revisado and the insurance policy you get to you get you get your your new license plate um, what else if you have any other questions just let me know um, for any car to be legally uh, drive around you have to have your insurance up to date uh, you can pay by month you can pay by year it's it's optional and uh, what happens when you get a speed ticket? When you get a speed ticket, uh, basically you get fined once. I, I would recommend you to go to the transit uh, department. I put the name here for you to get the the for you to pay them directly. The when you pay that, let's say if you have two or three fines or four fines or even more. Maybe the bill could be a little high, so in that case, you can also do like uh, an arrangement pay uh, payment arrangement, and you can pay by by fees, monthly fees, to to over a year to pay the uh, the fines. That has no interest, and uh, I think you can pay like 20% each month, or 15 or 12%. I don't remember exactly, but that's how you do it. If you, by any chance, uh, have get get your get your fine and you don't pay it, do you, and you don't pay it uh, in the spam of a month, you enter in something that it's called the sacato, which I'll put the translation here. And the sacato basically uh, is that you are not paying and you get your car told. Uh, so you get a, uh, you get a, uh, so you get a, uh, I don't know how you call it in English. You get one of these trucks to to pull your car, and then you have to pay the fine plus the service of the the equipment where your car was sold, and you need to pay each day that your car is in that uh, deposit, that car deposit. So. No one gets that. I'm giving you that info for you to be up to date. This is a very unplanned video. I don't have a script. I just, I'm just going to the vid. So I thought, why not a video about a car? What car? What type of car should you get in Panama? So if you have more questions, let me know. Uh, this is, these are things that I have experienced, or I've seen somebody that I know experienced, and uh, I'm just giving you that info for you to to know. So. Again, let me know if you have any other, uh, any other questions. Uh, remember to subscribe to my channel, to hit that bell button, to get notifications every time I upload a new video. And uh, see you the next time. Take care. Bye-bye.